It's Transformers 96 here with another unboxing video, so here you go. So just got a package in and uh, gonna open it up. So this is from the Disney store. Right. I'm uh, quite looking forward to this. Alright. Got some order information. When we open it up, it is an Elite Series figure. Question is, which one is it? So here's the big reveal, and ooh, it is Darth Maul. Very excited about this. So, oh, that's nice. You know, that's a really good idea. I wonder if anybody complained, but this little sticker they used to have on the boxes, because I have ordered from the Disney Store online to get Elite Series figures, and uh, they just put them on the back or maybe even the bottom of the boxes, so possibly somebody who bought this to keep it mint complained about that, because now they have uh, put the sticker on the tissue paper that's wrapped, uh, that the box is wrapped uh, in, so glad that they're doing that now, but very excited to get this Darth Maul. Uh, this isn't my first one. Um, I do have a second one right here, as you can see. So basically, uh, starting with Darth Maul, every two weeks they are going to put out another um, Elite Series Star Wars figure that represents one of the seven movies from Star Wars. Every two weeks they're going to put it out. And they're not just going to put it out and you can go in and buy it. What they're going to do is you have to uh, go into their store enter a lottery between 12 and 1, and if your name is called, then you're able to buy one. Um, and that's what I did to get this first Darth Maul. Uh, but then the very next day, they released it online, and it is still in stock online. So there's really no reason for there to be a lottery. You don't have to do the lottery to get him. And it's, uh, it's you know, the only benefit of doing going into the store and doing that is that you're going to get it uh, earlier, because you don't have to wait for it to be shipping, uh, for, for it to be shipped. Plus, you know, you can't even order the other one until the day after. And and, um, uh, uh, and then you don't have to pay shipping. So th there's just, you know, a few upsides of doing the whole lottery thing. And the lottery thing was actually kind of fun because it's all, you know, toy collectors doing it. It's not any, like, kids trying to do this. So it, it was a lot of fun to do. It just it so happens that I actually have a class between 12 and 1, so I had to skip it to buy Darth Maul. Um, but uh, I'm not going to keep skipping my classes just to, uh, to do this. I obviously can't. So overall, I'd like to do it, but because of the timing, it just doesn't work out for me, so I won't do it anymore. So I think that I am just going to order these online after uh, the day after they come out um, even though you know paying shipping because obviously got him in store with tax for like 26 or 27 dollars this one I paid about uh, 33 with shipping so overall you do definitely get it for a uh, much cheaper buying it in stores but unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to pass on doing that but yeah so basically I didn't take the one that I had out of package because I thought that they would be, uh, they would put the sticker on this box and not to mention I didn't want to risk this this box coming damaged or whatnot, so I figured that I keep this one in package. Um, but now I'm gonna have to take a look at them. I can see like the tape is a little scrunched uh, on this one, uh, while this one it's more even. But he his head is a little bit out of the plastic more in this one, while this one's more inset, which. I think it, it makes him look more secure, so I think I'm going to still keep this one in package, but nonetheless, I bought two because I want to open one, and I want to keep one in package. Um, you know, I'm not going to do this for every Elite Series figure, but with this Darth Maul, he looked so good in package. Uh, just, he looks awesome, and his colors really match the coloring of the Elite Series, and I like the Elite Series packaging in general, so overall, I couldn't bring myself to open them, so I decided to order another one instead. Um, I'm definitely going to do this again with General Grievous. Um, I think you're only limited, you're only able to buy one of him, so I think that I'm going to have to buy two, um, probably on two different cards or two different dresses. I, I'm not quite sure what I'll have to do. Uh, and I'm Unfortunately, pay shipping on both of them, but I will be buying two General Grievouses. Um, he, he looks really awesome, and he's really big too. Like the, his packaging is much wider than the uh, than the Darth Maul or anybody else's packaging. So I'm definitely going to get two Grievouses to keep one mint um, and to open one. But other, other than that, I think I'm just going to get one of each and just open them. Um, I plan to get Ray when I find her, and then. Uh, Captain Phasma, I guess if I would find another one of her, I would get another one just to keep one mint, because I already have one open. So yeah, the, but that's my plan. Um, 
with the Elite Series, and there's my unboxing of Darth Maul. Very excited to open them, and now that I'm opening them, it means that a uh, review's coming up too. So very exciting. Uh, I'm very excited to film that and uh, and post it. So yeah, I'm loving this Elite Series line. I either people love it or they just really don't get it, you know, and don't understand why you, uh, we need the Elite Series when we have the Black Series. But I really am loving it, and I still love the Black Series. Don't get me wrong, but this is a really fun diecast toy line that I'll continue collecting, and I love the fact that they are releasing a figure every two weeks and you know keeps me constantly excited for the next one so overall can't wait to open this one and can't wait for the others like uh Grievous, Vader, uh, Boba, definitely getting those, and then the mystery Force Awakens one that comes out the day the Force Awakens comes out, I'll definitely get that regardless of the character. I'll probably skip Anakin and the Stormtrooper um, from the old trilogy. I did just buy the new trilogy, the Stormtrooper, though, but I'll probably skip Anakin, and I don't at the moment have plans to get Finn, but for the most part, I'm getting most of these Elite Series figures, so yeah. So there you go, and uh, the review of Darth Maul is coming up pretty soon. Thanks so much for watching.